Aloha, it's Kiana, and here are today's top Hawaiian headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, huge mahalo to Long's Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your nearest Long's Drugs for all your shopping needs. Honolulu Mayor Rick Blanjardi today announced the end date for the city's COVID-19 restrictions. Safe access Oahu will expire as planned at the end of the day Saturday. Blanjardi says for the first time since March 4, 2020, the city will not operate under a COVID-19 emergency order. Safe Access Oahu program required businesses such as restaurants, bars, and gyms to verify employees and customers were fully vaccinated or showed proof of a negative COVID-19 test taken within 48 hours. As coronavirus cases decline, Blanjardi says there are no current plans to lighten up on the COVID-19 testing sites. Although the city's order will expire, the governor's emergency proclamation is still in effect statewide. That includes the indoor mask mandate, the Safe Travels Hawaii program, and the vaccination or testing requirement for city, state, and county government workers. A house collapsed onto the beach on the North Shore this morning after a weekend of high surf. Honolulu police say the house at 59181 Kinui Road in Haleiwa collapsed just before 8 in the morning. The one-story beachfront property was visible behind yellow police tape as ocean waves crashed onto the beach. No injuries were reported. The north and west shores of Oahu have been under a high surf advisory since Sunday afternoon. U.S. officials are warning of potential Russian instigated cyber attacks. Russia faces increasing economic and other international sanctions over the invasion of Ukraine. Members of Congress received a briefing Friday warning of the heightened risk of Russian hacking. Congressman Ed Case has urged all Hawaii state and county governments, businesses and residents to be on the alert for unusual or suspicious activity on their computers and other internet connected devices. Both the federal government and state agencies have been beefing up cybersecurity in Hawaii in recent years. Hawaii is home to several critical military facilities and organizations. That includes the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command and U.S. Pacific Fleet on Oahu and the Pacific Missile Range Facility on Kauai. Russian spy ships have frequently made their way to Hawaii to spy on training and operations. The U.S. military reported tracking a Russian ship in Hawaiian waters in January. Two people died over the weekend when a suspected drunk driver slammed into a parked car in Nanakuli. According to Honolulu Police, a 27-year-old motorist was traveling northeast on Haleakala Avenue at a high rate of speed when he lost control of his vehicle and crashed into a parked vehicle around 10.30 Saturday evening. The crash killed 38-year-old Kelsey Palispo and her 7-year-old daughter, Leah Hanakahi. Meanwhile, 17-year-old Shaylee Hanakahi was seriously injured. They were on their way to a family gathering. Police arrested the 27-year-old driver on suspicion of DUI and other charges. Police say speed and alcohol appear to be factors in the fatal crash, but that it's too early to tell whether drugs were involved. The investigation is ongoing. A makeshift roadside memorial of flowers, balloons, and stuffed animals was seen Sunday at the site of the fatal crash. Saturday's deaths are the 10th and 11th traffic fatalities on Oahu in 2022. There were seven traffic-related fatalities at the same time last year. New University of Hawaii football coach Timmy Chang has wasted little time recruiting new players. Using the Brotherhood hashtag to drum up excitement on social media, UH went all in on its recruitment of local players. That comes just three weeks after Chang was hired to replace former coach Todd Graham, who resigned. The Star Advertiser's updated list of scholarship offers features 14 juniors, a sophomore and two freshmen. Mililani defensive back Aiden Manutai and Punahou offensive lineman Kavika Hallams already have an offer to attend UH. By contrast, only 11 players total from the current senior class sign letters of intent with Division I programs. At least 10 players from Hawaii announced their offers on social media. View the list at StarAdvertiser.com. 
For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.